guys welcome back to the theme park dude i am back here at SeaWorld orlando for the second annual hollow scream right here at SeaWorld. now if you guys watched my vlog from last year where i attended the first ever hollow scream here at SeaWorld, you know that i thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, i'm pretty excited to be back here again this year for the second hollow scream let's see how things might have changed since last year let's go check it out and also with me here today i have my friends and my wife with her service dog so i'm not alone this time as i was last time so maybe that will change the uh, experience overall hey excited wiki you gonna go hollow scream you just want to look at the water there's construction of that new surf coaster the stand-up surf coaster all right guys we're heading into hollow scream now here are my friends and my wife and the doggo we're heading in now are you guys excited yeah. i guess yes my wife here won't be doing the houses she just likes the vibe of everything but the three of us here we're gonna be doing all the houses tonight all the scare zones and we're gonna rank them and rate them right after doing them. are the same exact ones as last year same with the scare zones but hopefully some of them got improved honestly I can't remember my rankings and ratings from last year but hey you know I don't mind that some of them are the same as last one last year's um, there are some new ones though to check out so let's go inside let's check it out
right, guys, so we're headed into our first house of Hollow Scream Orlando. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, man. It's gonna be, I believe it's called Sirens of the Seas. Are you ready to I don't experience know. it? I'm not ready. That's all I'm gonna be traumatized the fuck out of you. I mean, these guys only have ever done Halloween Horror Nights houses. We did their six flags, but we didn't do any houses there. Right. Maybe so they pay for you pay for each house with flags. Let's get over there. So we're gonna be comparing this to Halloween Horror Nights. Alright, so I gotta catch my breath. We just got done with Sirens of the Seas. What'd you think? My chest hurts a little bit. My um, chest hurts too. That was utterly terrifying. They're so dark. Yeah. They're so, like, they're so fucking dark. Guys, I absolutely hate cockroaches with my life. There was a cockroach in there, spoilers by the way. A giant one, I didn't think it was gonna move. It lunged at me. It talked to you. It, yeah. That's how you were doing. You know, I was kind of cockroach. You know, that lifeguard tried to save your life a little bit. That lifeguard tried to save me. Yeah, but it was too late. That was terrifying. I know I already said that, but I'm just iterating how terrifying it was. That's what David thinks. the whole night for him. Uh, you know what? Let's just move on to the next house.
<laughs> what do you think of Hollow Scream? It's great. Eat all the people. Mm, people. <laughs> Just kidding, I eat fish. Save it quickly. It's just a box of That got me. <laughs> oh, it sure is, John. This is the scariest part. I didn't like that. got done with blood beckoning, I think it was called. Yeah. It, it, yeah. What'd you think? Uh, I don't know what I think. It was terrifying, for it sure. Was, it was, they get close to you. Yeah, it's not it's like Halloween shit. Horror Nights. It's much wider space. It's not as loud as a Horror Nights house. Uh, yeah. David is, uh, that's what he thought of that. Um, I was pleasantly surprised in the it worst was, way possible. It was very good, very scary. That last jump scare was good. As soon as we thought we were done, we were not. Um, they, really thought, they really let us think it was dead. Yeah. yeah. The scare actors did really good in there. They, uh, they, they didn't have much to work with, but they used everything to their advantage. Their surroundings, everything. It was really good. Any any words? Okay. All right. Let's go check out the next house. I don't like my face either. 
To beneath the ice. Base camp. Base something <laughs> or I don't know. But um, I don't think any of us are ready for this one. All right. We just got done with uh, what's it called? Beneath, beneath the, ice. the ice. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was quite long at the beginning. It was pretty good, but then near the end, it just kind of fell off a bit. It wasn't that scary? Just we're just kind of walking through it. Um, I was just, at, it got to a point where I just wanted to be done with it, you know? Alright, next house. We just got out of Dead Vines. Um, I thought it was really bad. What do you guys think? It was bad. Garbage. Yeah. Didn't it scare me at all. all. Yeah, it wasn't scary. Maybe we just got a bad run of it because there was barely any scare actors at one part of it. I was even walking through it begging out loud for someone to scare me. I think the worst jump scare I got was from a team member just walking through. That ass. Too much shit in your face. Yeah, there's a, it was really work. annoying to walk through because you just have to keep swiping away from like everything that's hanging down. Yeah, no, didn't yeah, didn't bad. enjoy it. But we have one more house left, so hopefully it'll be a banger. Alright, well, now we just got done with our final house of the night, Captain's Revenge. What do you guys think? Mid. Mid was okay. The set design was pretty cool. It was a nice set design. Kind of like the um, the other one though, the Beneath the Ice. It was pretty good in the beginning, fell off near the end. Way too long. It was a very long one, yeah, definitely. But, uh, you know, it was okay. Not too bad. 
Guys, that concludes our night here at Hollow Scream Orlando. Um, what did you guys think? Review. I mean, it's kind of exactly what you'd expect from a SeaWorld event. Like, there are good things, there are bad things. There's ups and downs. You know, the epic highs and lows of high school football, as they would say in Riverdale. Okay. I thought some of the scare zones were better than Halloween Horror Nights. At least this year. They definitely do things differently. Like, they have a different approach than you. How'd you like the scare zones? Some of them were terrifying, some of them were fine. But I did it with a no necklace, so. Yeah, I thought, um, me coming from someone that has done this event last year for the first year, it nothing really changed. It's all the same houses. There's only two brand new houses, and the show is the same. I thought Monster Stomp this year was actually worse than last year. And the houses weren't that great as they were last year either. So I'm slightly disappointed with Hollow Scream 2022. But you did Icebreaker. I did do Icebreaker today, even though that doesn't really involve Hollow Scream, but yes, I did Icebreaker. <laughs> Any thoughts? Uh, we really know. started the night with the best houses and ended with the three worst houses. Yeah, yeah, there, we. There's really only two good houses. We, yeah, we really only enjoyed. What was it called? The blood beckoning, yeah. and then the what was the second one? The the, the sirens of the seas. Yeah, sirens. Yeah. Sirens of the seas. Yeah. Those were the only good ones. Everything else, the rest of the houses were not that great. I'll reiterate again. How would you rank your sorry. houses, guys? Best um, the worst. The, the blood beckoning was the best. That was. And then the Sirens of the Seas was the second best. Mm -hmm. <sighs> dead Vines is definitely last place. Dead Vines is dead last. <laughs> we just walked through that one. With a really, bunch of shit in your face. I only have a best to worst. I have more like what scared me and then, you know, what I was fine with. That's how you know what's best and worst if you're fine with it. Um, definitely, uh... If you're scared, it means it did its job. Sirens of the Sea, because that one... I couldn't even speak afterwards. Yeah. And then second would be, uh, what was it? The, the first one we did. The, the first one we did. The blood beckoning. And then the third one is the beneath the ice. Like everything was like Fourth that. is uh, definitely the captain and revenge. And then last is the vines. Me personally, I, I like the captain one better than beneath the ice. I like the captain one more than beneath the ice as well because of the set design. Yeah. I only, nice. Beneath the Ice is only where it is on mine because it scared me. Like it actually got me. Beneath the Ice wasn't that scary. Yeah. But neither was the day of the uh, Captain's Revenge. Wait. I'm hoping Hollow Scream 3 next year in 2023 will be a lot better. Hopefully they change up the houses. If they do the same houses again for a third year in a row, I don't even know if I would want to attend it so hopefully they change it up but that wraps up this video thank you guys for watching go ahead and look back at my review of hollow scream from last year and as well the monster stomp show if you want to see that i have the video from last year as well it's the same show this year nothing changed thanks for watching